Hi, welcome to Jamaican Cooking 101. Today we're preparing another Jamaican favorite. It is the escovitch fish. Now this is a popular fish dish right across the island. It is served up with bamis or festival. Let's prep the ingredients. Welcome back. We have our ingredients well laid out here. So let's begin. Now today we are using a red snapper, but you could use any fish you like. Maybe parrot or goat fish, whatever it is you like. It could even be sprat. All right, so what I've done, I've gone ahead to gut it, scale, and remove its fins and tail. I've also washed it in vinegar solution, so that's vinegar and water. If you don't have vinegar, you could use limes no, or lime juice. Now, what we're going to be doing is to pat the fish dry to make sure that we take away as much moisture as possible. And then we are going to put on our dry rub. So our dry rub is made up of just a dash of fish seasoning, a bit of black pepper, and a dash of garlic or onion powder, and then a bit of salt. Now this is optional, you can put whatever seasoning you like on the fish, right? So we're going to add a bit of salt so we're going to combine these seasoning and of course you could just use salt and pepper whatever is your preference so let's get this fish seasoned so we're gonna make sure that we place some seasoning in the head cavity that's where we got the gills from and then we move down to the gut area but you have to be careful because a number of bones are here and we don't want an accident once you have completed placing the seasoning in the gut and the head cavity we're gonna place a bit of seasoning in the area that we have scored now this is just to make sure that all parts of the fish is well seasoned and have that consistent taste right so let's get everything well cleaned and we have a bit so let's just finish it off all right once we have done that we're gonna allow the fish to just marinate and then prep our other ingredients now we have a pan heating and we're gonna add some oil we're gonna add just about one and a half cup of oil and I'm gonna try a method today where I'm not gonna be adding any flour to the fish all right the oil is still cold so we will wait until it heats up properly but in the meantime let's make the escovit sauce so we're using quarter cup of vinegar and water solution half and half no, I have added water simply because the vinegar might be too acidic and so we're just going to combine these two and add them to the pot. So that's just about quarter cup, half and half of vinegar and water. I'm also going to add the granulated sugar at this point and the reason I'm adding some sugar is just to take away that acid taste, that sour taste from the vinegar. We don't want to completely take it away, but we want a nice combination of sweet and sour and spicy. So we're just dissolving that and then we're gonna allow it to sit before placing it in the pot. All right, so let us get our pimento. Now you could have just about 68 pimento berries, but I'm gonna just crush them once. Just a small crush, just to open a few of them, and that will be added to the vinegar solution. 
So let's prep the rest of the vegetables. I have on my cutting board some chocho, sweet peppers, red scotch bonnet, and yellow scotch bonnet. I also have some carrots, which are julienne, and some onions, which I will slice, and of course, our lemon for garnishing. So let us prep by, use, by slicing the peppers first. No scotch bonnet, if you know anything about scotch bonnet pepper, it is hot. And even after you have um, worked with it, chances are it will be still burning on your hands. So I'm using the fork to just hold it in place and cut off a few slices. So I think that's enough for the yellow. So let's move on to the red. All right, just about two or three slices should be enough or just go for another all right we don't want this too spicy we just want a nice combination so let's move those aside to the side and we're going in to slice our onions now we want beautiful onion rings so you get them evenly done and we don't want too much because we're gonna separate the rings all right that should be enough so to get a bit of space here, let's move away the ingredients that we're not using. So we've used half of an onion and a few slices of hot pepper. So let's just set that aside. Right, so we have some julienne chocho, which we call Christophine also, some green sweet peppers and some hot peppers. I've used green sweet pepper simply because I have no green hot peppers and then our onion rings. Let me quickly demonstrate how to separate and this is quite easy. Just push them forward and they'll all separate. Now look how many rings we've got. So you don't need a whole onion just for this one fish. If you were doing a lot, then you would need more. Let's move away these lemon slices and organize for our carrots. I'm just cutting away the green bit and we're going to quickly julienne the carrots. Try to get them even so each piece should be around the same size so that we have them cooking at the same time or using up the same cook time. Now once we're finished that we will need to check on the fish and start the escovit sauce. By now the sugar would have dissolved so let's quickly finish up the carrots. And again, make sure that they're about the same size. And you could put a lot more vegetables. It depends on your preference. All right. Okay, so this is our final carrot. No, have one more. All right, this one seemed to be the last. Okay, so now let us organize and quickly check on the oil so the oil is hot enough so we're gonna put the fish in and we're turning the fish away from us this fish is a tad bigger than the pot so what we're gonna do is use a uh, eating spoon to just quickly pour some hot oil over its tail all right so we're gonna do that a few times just to get it uh, to prevent it from sticking to the side of the pot and in the meantime, we're going to be looking at the escovit sauce. So I have here a small saucepan and I've added the vinegar, sugar and water solution. And I'm going to add the crushed pimentos to it. Then we're going to cover and allow it to come to a boil and then place our vegetables in. So let's just cover that and allow it to boil. Let's take a look at the fish to see what's happening. It would have been on this side for about five to six minutes. So I'm thinking that once we turn it, the same amount of time would be necessary for the other side. A food tongue could be used to make this a bit easier. All right, so we are about to take it from the oil. It has spent just about 10 minutes frying and we are going to place it on absorbent paper to remove or to allow it to drain some more. Okay, so just have it on absorbent paper or you could put it on a cooling rack and that would prevent it from, from uh, steaming up or getting moist. 
all right now let us look back at the escovite sauce we're noticing that the what the vinegar is bubbling vinegar solution is bubbling so we're gonna add all our vegetables and give it a quick stir if you want you could add salt and pepper but i won't be adding any i'm just gonna give this a good stir and cover it you can turn off the flame at this point or if you don't like your vegetables being as crunchy then you could allow it to boil for a minute or so all right so i'm just gonna cover this and allow it to steam up nicely after a minute this is what it looks like so you can decide if you want to continue cooking or you want to turn the flame off all right so i'm turning the flame off and i'm gonna add this sauce to the fish so here we go we're serving up with lemon slices as our garnish now you could have escovitch fish with festival or bamis or whatever starch you prefer so you see escovitch fish is easy to make it is tasty and it can be done a day in advance so we're gonna add some of the vegetables and then some of the liquid and here we have it our jamaican escovitch fish now thank you so much for watching we hope you enjoyed it please remember to subscribe like and comment